Hi everyone, it's Jerry Ann with scrapandstampcreations.blogspot.com and tonight I'm just making flowers out of my scraps of the Dottie For You paper. Um, so I thought I would just um, kind of work on that a little bit tonight and chat with whoever's around. I'm just pinching the sides of the flowers.
Mr. Crystal. I am just kind of putting flowers together with my leftover stuff. Tony was going to bed. I figured I was up for a while doing some laundry since my kid doesn't feel real good. So. I'm just kind of prepping some different things. I'm going to order another pack of this paper, I think, because I really like it. And now I have a bunch of flower embellishments for things. I have these little one. Um, they're just those little plastic um, bead centers. I've had them in my stash forever. There we go. So that's one. Here's another. Here's a third flower so far. I think they turned out pretty nice. So they'll need some, um, uh, they're going to need some um, leaves, which I'll punch out of some green cardstock and kind of foof up and make sure that they have leaves and everything. And we'll see kind of what we do next because I've got some bigger. Um, flower punches. turned out pretty cute. I like that. Actually, I'm going to go this side first. Yeah. Gives them just a little more character. Dimension.
Um, they are from punches out of the little bit of last scrap that I have used. Oh, you know what? I haven't shown you my um, layouts. Hold on. Let me grab a couple of things because I think you'd like them. This is like the leftover little stuff. They're out of punches because with you got those little pieces. Oh, hold on. Let me grab the layouts I've created. They've been posted on my blog, but they're really pretty. Using the Dotty for You paper. So here's page one. Uh, going the wrong way. Here we go. And page two. And then. Here's the second page with all the little butterflies going off the side. Oh, I like the green layout, but they're really cool. Here is another one. And here is its companion page. I love this piece, some paper ribbon kind of idea. And then my absolute favorite is this one. Hi, Brenda. And then the companion layout. But the flowers are super sparkly. And then the ribbon flower is just really cool too. So I've had a great time. I've played a lot and so I've used those. And then of course I did out of that paper pack, I did the album on Monday. And I love the butterflies off the side there. And those flowers are just really pretty too. And I love this flower up here. Let's see if I can get it. That one right there. This pink and green one. And this sparkly one too. So these are what I'm working on now is just the leftover bits and pieces because I have a second paper pack. So I figured I'd make some embellishments. So that's kind of what I'm doing. So. And since it's still early on the West Coast, I just decided I'd hang out for a while. I didn't see that anybody was on, so part of the reason. Hmm. Thanks. You know, I've just been, and I haven't made flowers for very long at all. I've been inspired by quite a few people and that in order to kind of try and um, they just kind of turn out nice. I like them. Let's 
let's see, what do I got? I got pink and yellow and gray. Oh. Yeah. I completely understand. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll be on Monday night playing, trying to figure out what to do. Not sure yet, but I'll see you Monday night, if not sooner. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I understand. I'm a late night person. I do the same thing and uh, I really do I just can't lay down and go right to sleep so unless I'm really good and tired not it's like 9 55 okay it's late your time but it's not late mine I loved the little six by six Shannon and that I just would love to see some pictures I want to see what you look like I guess is kind of the, the idea so I was looking for pictures <laughs> Well, I see some of the pictures you take, but I haven't seen a picture of you. Or maybe I have, I just didn't know it. Here's another flower. We've got these little itty bitty ones. <laughs> I think they 
actually turned out pretty cute. I'm going to do some um, leaves after I finish up. I've got a couple more of those. And I'm trying to decide if I'm going to like those in there. Hey, Shelly! I'm just kind of playing with my scraps, making some flowers. my last of my Dottie for You paper packet that I used. <laughs> Do you want me to send you some of these to put on it? Yeah. Well, and I have another one. I have another pack. And so um, I've been playing a lot with it. And I've used one. I've used a whole complete one. And so, um, part of it is kind of prepping to use the other one. And then I'm trying to decide what I want to use for it. Doing laundry. My kid doesn't feel good, so laundry is happening. I've gone through sheets and towels. So what did you guys do tonight? Oh, okay. And did you get them to come up? Did they work well? There's kind of a learning curve, so. At least I found there was a learning curve. I think you have to play with them a little too. You might ink the edges before you roll them too because um, depending on whose paper you used, sometimes they look neater that way. And what colors of ink did you decide to get? Or have you decided yet? you definitely rocked those blocks because that was a really great idea I loved the blocks and the photo and everything and the way that it flipped and everything that was awesome those were really cool so cool that I posted them on the team site because they were cool I was impressed. Yay. 
these little guys. Now I'm gonna roll some. What kind of mat are you rolling flowers on? Close to my heart sells a pokey tool, a piercing tool, and that that comes with a mat and um, the pokey tool and a couple of um, uh, whatever they are. Um, um, Anyway, um, and a couple of needles to thread and stuff. And so I have all kinds of pokes on this side, so I just rolled my flowers on the other side. So that is what I am using. And it's pretty cheap. I think it's like four bucks or something. I think. Let's see. Yeah, the piercing, oh, it's $6. You get a piercing tube, two sewing needles, and a push pad for $6.95. And I really like it. I use my pokey tool for lots of things. So. Oops. I need to pull out those flower pieces. I think I let these dry too hard because they sure aren't wanting to move. Although instead of doing two of these, I actually did three. And um, I like the fullness of the flowers a little better when you put three of the dies together. So, I found that out the other night, so that was cool. On what? I just show you off and I did Well, that's because it's different. It's different than the flower you're doing. These are the, from the dies. These are from the Cherry Lynn dies. These are the flat dies that look like this. The ones that you're talking about are a little harder. However, it does work nicer if you have a pokey tool or a quilling tool. Or a pair of tweezers that aren't broken. I still 
still haven't called Miguel. I need to call them Tuesday. You know, it just takes a little time and you have to start with bigger flowers. You have to start with at least a three inch flower and that um, in order to play a little bit. The other things that are on there are amazing. There's boxes and bags and the letters. Did you get the thing that shows, I know in the back of the book there's something that shows like every, um, uh, every key. Oh, you know what? I can show you what, oh good. Um, I can show you something cool you could make with that. It's a wedding cake. <laughs> it's really cute. <laughs> yeah, it's using the <laughs> you can do it Shannon you can I promise <laughs> um, it uses the pillow top boxes off of that cartridge and the rolled flowers and uh, <laughs> yes it's not hard at all it's really pretty easy it's dusty. It's one of those things that I send. Um, I've had a couple of customers buy the cartridge and so I do a kit for them. And if they live here I do the tutorial and everything and they make one and then they get a little they get a little extra practice and stuff. I'd have to remember how to make it so I could do it on a Ustream. That would be a fun project. Then it's recorded. Hmm, that might be good. My fingers are liquid glass to death here. No. I'm gonna just I don't know. It's dark. I'm going to move that. Is it Shannon proof? Of course it would be Shannon proof. It's paper. It's not glass. It's not edible.
that one's going to be pretty. should be your next class on Ustream. Maybe you should teach how to do the, um, it's a whole flower. I'm just, um, putting the, it'll, it'll puff out in a minute. I just have to get the glue on them and make them glue and stay. Maybe you should teach the, um, the wedding cake, Shannon. I'll show you how to do it and you could do it. Because it is really easy. you then you'd have something to do at a show you could demo it <laughs> it really is not that hard the hardest part is the flowers really especially cut so little Crystal go to bed. right on your cricket. You can cut them right out on the cricket. And my last one.
That's why I said you could cut them out on the Cricut. <laughs> All right, so what I've got, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, right? Six, nine, 12, 14. Hopefully I have enough big um, Hey, Diane. I'm being creative. <laughs> I am. I am. It's a game. And then I'm going to pull out glitter and all kinds of stuff. I'm looking forward to getting the other die from Christine, the one with the flat or with the leaves and the um, the leaves and the petals. That one is really cool. She should have shipped those out today. She said. So I am pretty excited.
Yeah, I guess I am matchy matchy. Oh, I like that one. Yes, it is. And I absolutely love it. It's the same thing kind of like Crystal Effects or um, a Diamond Glaze from Stampin' Up. The only thing that you have to watch out with the liquid glass is that some of the pinks and reds will change color if you use it on it. So you definitely want to try it out first. before you go over a whole big thing because it'll turn them orange. Oh wow, this one's pretty. And my bottle is old, really old. Yes. I still have more bits and pieces. I'm going to glitter these right now, but I think I'm going to go find some sweet leaf cardstock and make some leaves for all these guys. And these guys. Find some sweet leaf card stuff. Oh, you know what? I have this first. 
stock from Bow Bunny that I think will look really pretty with them. Ow, 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 ow. Ouch. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> oh. Do not roll your chair into the table with your finger in the way. Ouch. <laughs> it's not broken. <laughs> But it sure does hurt. <laughs> All right. Big punches in my little punch. Owie. Oh, that hurt. My whole finger is purple. I'm sure that's going to leave a bruise. Owie. It's the big one. And there's the little one. Oh. Ouch, that hurt. And it's recorded. Gotta love that. Oh. See? Like all bruised. Ouch. Alright, I'm gonna use this paper. I know it looks a little bright, but I think it'll tone down once I cut it all up. Alright, so I need 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84. I'm going to need 84 big leaves. Ouch. Ouch. Howie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. <laughs> no. Forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine,
Do we need 82 or 86? One sheet of paper. Okay. My finger really hurts. <laughs> wow. I can't believe we got them all out of one sheet of paper. Yes, I'm folding all 84 of them in half. And then I'm going to cut them all. And then I'll have to do some for the little ones. The smaller ovals. But they'll be done. <laughs> like doing a swap. And you do the same thing for a bunch of people. Owie. Gonna have to check my dryer here pretty quick. Maybe once I get these all folded I will take a break and check my dryer.
<laughs> well, it wasn't like there was a hundred of them or anything. Oh wait, that's all out of towels in the dryer. I'm sure it's not dry yet. I'm going to check it anyway. check my dryer. I'll be right back. Those are dry. Ladies, I'll be right back.
<laughs> okay. aren't too bright. <laughs> oh, that wasn't good. You know what, I'm thinking I could ink the edges if they're okay. They'll be fine. They're green leaves. Well, if they don't work, then we'll have to find something else, and I will have a bunch of leaves cut.
to my last three leaves.
Really, you know, it's like 11. I worked today. I got to go back to work today for a little while. And so I'm, I'm feeling really good with everything. Plus, I love the way they look. Those turned out really cute. They're a little bright, but they're not bad. And I'm sure that with a little bit of ink, I'll be able to tone them down. So. Good night. I'm just kind of playing. I'm not doing anything specific. I'd love to see the photos tomorrow. I love the stuff you do. So. Have a good night. send you a link to the directions for the cake. 
it's a fun way to kind of work on some of the things. Good Almost finished with these ones. Almost. 
We're getting there. Last one of these. Then we can go to these other ones. Yeah, it is. The layers look really nice in them though. I'm really excited about those. It'll be nice when I'm creating other things to have them done, to find something to put them in. Really liking them. don't know just yet. I have I have the pattern for the greenhouse that Laura Dennison did and I have a kit too so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna um, maybe use this paper with that kit or that pattern and maybe use them for the greenhouse. But I knew that I'm going to get another pack of the paper, I think, before the special ends on the end of the month. And so, I'll use them on something. Or I'll make some cards. 
a nice little sentiment. Yay, those ones are pretty done. Yeah, I really like them. They turned out really nice. Like this one too. Yeah, I just have these little itty bitty ones to do. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two.
great.
thinking, I got quite a few flowers. I have to count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen of those flowers. There's only 58 flowers here. <laughs> Well, for the amount of leaves I did, 
It'd be 116 leaves. I really like them. I think they turned out really cute. All right. Well, I think I'm done for the evening, ladies. I'm going to go see what my husband is doing. I'm sure he's either asleep or watching something upstairs. And that. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. And um, I hope that you got to see a couple of little techniques or kind of some ideas on how to use your scraps to make some cute little flowers. They really turned out nice. I really like them. There's lots of them that have lots of character. I love the stripes ones and the gray spiky flowers are so cute. So. All right, well, good night, ladies. I hope you have a good weekend, and um, I'm sure I'll catch you in another um, Ustream show. Good night.